In the following presentation, I want to introduce the basics of laser welding of plastics. Furthermore, I will point out the possibilities and chances of this process, as well as the requirements and limitations for the industrial implementation. First of all, I will discuss the principles of the used plastics and possibility to combine these materials. After that, the joining technology, laser welding of plastics itself, its variants, the requirements on the product design and a comparison towards other joining technologies will be handled. In point 3 of this recitation, I will introduce to you the realization with our different kinds of standard welding equipment. At the end, a few product examples will be shown and discussed. Well, let's start with the basics of plastics first. Plastics can be generally divided into three different classes, the thermoplastics, elastomers and thermosets. Thermoplastics show no cross-linked molecular chains, which causes that the materials are malleable and harden again without thermal corrosion. Therefore, one of the basic requirements to make these materials available is fulfilled. The lightly and highly cross-linked elastomers and thermosets can generally not be welded. Another requirement for the availability of a combination of materials is that the range of temperature in which the materials are melted are overlapping. Metaphorically speaking, we would burn one material before the other material is getting melted. Therefore, a welding would not be possible. A combination of the same thermoplastics are basically weldable. This can also be noticed in the following slide. The chart shows a summary of the compatibility of materials for laser welding of plastics, as well as some applications realized by Giefersoft. Unfortunately, you can find only incomplete and sometimes inconsistent information about the welding results of material combinations in literature and also the definition of a real welded joint differ a lot. Because especially filler and additive such as pigments, flame retardant, mold release agents, softeners and so on have a significant influence on the welding result, a pre-study for example with material samples from the chosen supplier is advisable in any case. Considering these preconditions, we will proceed with the actual welding process. First of all, the welding of plastics can be divided into two different processes, the laser butt welding and the laser transmission welding. During the laser butt welding, two laser absorbing materials are butt joint welded by applying pressure. Also, the laser energy can be applied together with the force at one time or separately one after another. Is the material melted first and joined by force after that, one can call this transition phase. Because the laser bulb welding is limiting the product design a lot, this process is less important for industrial solutions. However, the leading process is the laser transmission welding in which the product consists of a transparent and an absorbing joint partner. Thereby, a percentage of the laser energy passes the transparent joint partner and finally couples into the absorbing partner completely. This kind of process can be divided again into the so-called contour welding, mask welding, simultaneous welding and quasi-simultaneous welding, like shown in the following slides. Using the contour welding, the welding contour is followed only one time with a low speed. The force introduction is performed locally at the same place and time as the lighting by the laser. Because the laser beam needs to be moved only slowly, the process is suitable especially for complicated welding geometries and can be used in a flexible way. Because of mechanically moving the laser together with the clamping element, the realization, for example with the robot, is quite cost-intensive. A serious disadvantage of this process is that there is enforced tensioning to the material 
due to the local force and energy introduction. A typical application is the welding of rear light in the automobile industry. Mask welding works with a plane exposure or a moving laser line. Thereby, the radiation besides the welding contour is absorbed by a mask. Due to the homogeneous and simultaneous heating of the welding area, short process times can be realized. A disadvantage is the need of much energy, which also requires a powerful laser source and a complex cooling of the welding mask. Furthermore, this process is less flexible because it is not possible to modify the application of energy locally. If the welding geometry needs to be changed, the welding mask needs to be modified. A very popular process in the past is the simultaneous welding. Thereby, the welding contour of the product is lighted from many laser sources simultaneously. Typically, this is realized by many optical fibers, which are placed directly above along the welding contour. Again, this process can achieve especially short process times, because of the homogeneous and simultaneous heating of the welding area. The implementation of such welding tools is quite complex and flexible as well as maintenance and cost intensive. The quasi-simultaneous welding is most modern, most flexible and in many cases the cheapest laser welding process. Because of this, the laser welding of plastics is getting more and more important for the industrial manufacturing and replaces conventional joining the technologies in many fields. In this process, the laser beam is moved by a scanning system or galva head. Thereby, the welding contour is run fast and many times in a row. The result is an almost homogeneous temperature along the welding rib at all times. The exposure is performed quasi simultaneously. Because the welding contour is set in software only and the laser parameters can be adjusted locally along the contour, the process can be used very flexible. Furthermore, the initial costs for a system like this are comparatively low. Because of these reasons, this is Gefersoft's preferred process. Compared to the simultaneous welding and mask welding, the process time can be longer, but the real process time can be reduced by a proper product design or other methods in most cases. Besides the material selection, several requirements on the product design need to be considered. The absorbing joint partner consists of a suitable base material and additive or pigments fitting to the used laser wavelength. In the most simple case, this pigment is just carbon. The absorbing joint partner contains a welding rib to allow the force introduction into the welding contour and makes a welding seem possible. In the ideal case, the transparent joining partner consists of the base material only and, if necessary, a laser transparent additive. Depending on the material, fillers and additives, the wall thickness at the welding area is restricted to a certain limit. If possible, a welding on block should be avoided because this reduces the quality of the welding joint significantly. Furthermore, surface contact of both joint partners along the welding contour and a plane surface at the contact area is necessary. As a section, the welding area can be shown like this. It is important that shadows or reflections of the laser beam are avoided by the product design. This can be achieved by simple methods in most cases. Let's have a closer look on the real welding process in a section illustration. Both joint partners are placed like mentioned previously. The absorbing joint partner features a welding rib with a typical width of 0.5 to 1.5 mm. The product is exposed by the laser source and the welding rib of the absorbing joint partner is melted. 
Because of the thermal conduction, the transparent joint partner is melted as well. At the same time, the process force is applied to the project, which causes both melts to join and causes a meltdown of several tenths of millimeters typically. Due to the process, a flash of melt to the sides of the welding ribs happens. Therefore, enough space needs to be considered in product design to avoid blocking the flush. During the following dwell time, both melts are joining and a soluble join is generated. This slide shows two polished sections of weld joints in different qualities. The left image shows a good weld joint. Through the color change in the joint area, you can recognize the contact between both materials. Furthermore, you can see a form closed contact in the flush area, but a clear dividing line between the materials. Therefore, it is clear that the real welding seam, which is visible from the outer side of the product, does not significantly account for the strength of the weld joint. The right image now shows a negative example of a weld joint. From the other side of the product, you can identify a homogeneous and continuous welding seam. Nevertheless, you can recognize in the section there is locally almost no contact of the joint partners because of bubbles inside the weld joint. The chosen process parameters are completely wrong and the joint has an obviously reduced stability. This can be identified by process control and correct limits and avoided by setting the correct process parameters. Considering all these factors and limitations when comparing the laser welding of plastics to other joining technologies like friction welding, ultrasonic welding or gluing, this results in the following advantages and disadvantages. A significant advantage is the contactless introduction of energy, which leads to a very service reduced and low wear process. Especially the feasibility of very flexible and complex welding contours, good possibilities for automation and integration to different manufacturing concepts. Also optically high quality weld seams, for example at visible parts, are advantages which needs to be pointed out. Furthermore, a special plus is the fact that the material properties regarding ultraviolet and temperature stability, for example, remain from the base material. Compared to gluing, the laser welding does not need any additional material and there are no vibrations applied to the product, like when using friction welding. A disadvantage can be the restricted amount of different materials. Also, the need of seamless contact and the related product quality as well as a process adapted product design need to be considered when choosing the joint technology for a product. Furthermore, a proper laser protection is necessary, which leads to certain requirements and costs for integration. To observe the process directly, a real hand work places are not possible, unfortunately. The the laser welding of plastics certainly is no silver bullet, which can replace all other joint technologies. But if certain basic conditions are met, the process offers essential advantages and chances. During the last years, Gefersoft has developed three standard laser welding machine concepts, based on former customized machines. These machines fulfill most of the requirements in application and in integration. These types of machine I want to introduce shortly in the following slides. With a width of 1 meter only, the standalone type is the most compact and simplest machine concept, featuring a manual loading and unloading. An automatic shutter door protects against the laser radiation and towards the servo-driven press system. Important to point out is, especially the simple and fast product type change using a product specific toolset. The product specific sensors and actuators are integrated into the tooling. Our laser welding machine concept featuring a turntable is typically equipped with two fixtures and allows a cycle time optimized part handling during the welding process is going on. Furthermore, 
it's possible to integrate further processes and testing stations easily, which can also run simultaneously to the welding process. Besides this, the technology in concept is identical to the standalone type. The laser welding machine with conveyor system is suitable for smaller products and high volume production especially. In particular, if further processes or stations such as laser marking, vision inspection, automatic or semi-automatic loading and unloading or automatic bad part handling need to be integrated, this machine concept is ideal. Also, this machine features an easy and fast product change concept. For laser welding of plastics, we prefer to use a direct dial laser source from the brand Trumpf. These lasers are convincing especially with good beam performance, an internal power control circuit and, just in case, a very good and fast worldwide service. The typically used scanning systems are from the German brand Rayleighs, which are equipped with the specially selected optics adapted to your application. As well, we can integrate different brands of lasers components on request of course. Besides the laser system, the clamping system takes an important role for the process. In our machines, we are using a self-developed servo motor driven press. This features a fast positioning as well as a precise force control and meltdown measurement directly at the product. The product specific, often very complex fixture and welding mass provide a homogeneous force introduction. The animation shows a tooling for a product with 3D landscape on the example of a cockpit frame. The force is introduced directly at the welding area and take up the force directly underneath, which prevents from bending or stressing the product. All mentioned system components are fully integrated into flexible software, which allows to operate and set the machine with one 19 inch touch panel. By default, our machines are equipped with a camera, which features process observation and optimization. As an option, we can also use this camera for vision inspection purposes. At the right lower corner, you can see the visualization of the force and meltdown curves for each part in this case. The values force towards time and meltdown towards time are used for process control at the one hand as well as good bad part decision on the other hand. For each welding process these values are recorded, displayed and analyzed already during the process. Furthermore the gradient of the meltdown is continuously calculated and can be used for process control as well. By setting limits for welding time and meltdown, switch off conditions for the laser and a target window for good parts are defined. After the run-in of a new product, the recorded curves can be drag and drop to the diagram and be used for very simple adjustments of the limit and process parameters. For really complex processes, especially in the medical industry, there is a possibility to observe not only the final process values, but also the progress during the process using a failure envelope. The process control is getting even more safe and reliable with this feature. At the end, I want to show you a selection of product examples, which are processed with a quasi-simultaneous laser welding process. The typical products are bigger than a matchbox but not bigger than a shoebox. Examples are sensors, actuators, control units, as well as operating and displaying elements from automotive industry. But also in medical industry and products such as blood filters, insulin pumps or inhalers, the laser transmission welding and therefore our machines are taking part more and more.